All right, so actually the question we get typically is, uh, you know, do we drug test? Absolutely, yes, we, we're gonna drug test you. We're gonna drug test you on day one, as a matter of fact, uh, just like a company's gonna do. So the company wants to know that you're safe, they wanna know that you're responsible, and KWI wants the same thing that industry wants. Exactly, so on day one, we, we test with? The mouth swab. So it's a simple test. Uh, you pull the straw, uh, water this around in your mouth, hold it under your, your tongue for a few minutes, insert. Uh, results are uh, available 15 minutes or less. Okay, okay. And then most industry tests on the road, say for a traveling cowboy pipe builder, probably not going to be the mouth swab. Not necessarily. Most of the time the mouth swab is quick. It's going to look back a few days. The company's going to give you this just to make sure you get in the door. Now, for the traveling welder, two tests. One of them's going to be the weld test, the other one, you're peeing in a cup. All right, so do we do that at KWI? Yes, we do. Uh, we're going to do the urinalysis test, and we're going to send that in to a, a nationally recognized company, DESA, and they're going to put that on a CCS, Con Construction Correlation Safety Card, that'll give you a photo ID with your negative drug testing history. All right, excellent. So that would honestly that would be a good thing. If, I, if I'm a clean guy, you're telling me that you're loading my clean piss tests on a card. Absolutely, because okay. I've wanted to hire clean welders my whole life running the company. Right. And right. this proves that you're clean before you even get to me. Excellent, excellent. Now I'll still probably have to take a test again for that company, but, but this makes guys feel good about, about hiring individuals from the Kentucky Welding Institute. That's right. We're gonna use this test randomly, and we're gonna make sure we test at least one student per their time here at Kentucky Welding Institute, so everyone graduates with that photo ID card. It's important. Now, now, I've heard of another test that people really can't, can't scrape by, because there's ways that I can get around this whole test, probably. Probably. I could probably Google some things to get around this, this urinalysis it's test. Possible. All right, but what is the third test you do at KBI for drugs? The third test we're gonna do, we're gonna pull some hair, we're gonna cut some hair. hair so we're gonna look, uh, the hair follicle test, it's gonna look back three months or so of your life, of your history. They're gonna take a cotton ball sized wad of hair, seal it into the envelope, and send that in for analysis. Yeah, and that's common for some of our guys in the nuke, especially uh, industry, when they're getting in, we have to do a lot of verified background checks, and I know they're pulling hair on those things. They want those guys clean. Yeah, absolutely. Just talking to one of our instructors who was in off the road, the last two jobs he was on, there was no cotton swab, there was no urine test, it was hair follicle. So they want to know what's he done for the few months of his life before he got that job. Again, I mean, that's excellent, I think, because at the Kentucky Welding Institute, looking like a job, we're not only preparing students for that weld test, we're preparing them for the entire field, the entire outlook on that job, right down to the types of drug tests they'll have to be ready for yeah, that's when, they right. hit, when they hit industry. And companies respect that we do that. Companies acknowledge that we're doing it because they're doing the same thing. As a matter of fact, the reason we drug test is because that's what companies do. Exactly, exactly. Now, one that we get some controversy on. Um, what's this bad boy right here? Uh, so that's the intoxilizer. The same one used by state police in Kentucky. This one's actually calibrated by state police in Kentucky. No alcohol on the job site whatsoever. At KWI, we're gonna randomly alcohol test, and we're gonna test those big ticket weekends. Yeah. So if it's Super Bowl, Memorial Day, 4th of July, sometimes people wanna overindulge a little bit and drag that, that weekend into Monday, but well, companies can't tolerate that because it's unsafe. Yeah, exactly. And you, I mean, old construction, new construction, doesn't matter, refineries, power plants, safeties are, are breathalyzing you back into the gate over those long holidays. That's right. And I'm not telling you how to live your life, Bobby. Go out, cut up, have a good time on a weekend. But on Monday, it's game on, it's time to go back to work. Right, so this is honestly a good teaching tool then for those individuals who want to partake and have some fun, go for it. But you gotta know when to cut yourself off on Sunday in order to be ready and straight for the job on Monday. That's right. Come in straight, come in sober, have a good time when it's your day off, but be ready to work when it's time to get that job done. So what I'm here too then is, is this has gotta be awesome. So for a guy like me um, who, who isn't interested in, in a weld school for partying, I wanna go and work hard. You know, iron sharpens iron. I wanna be going to a school where guys are competing against me and making me better. Uh, this cuts out a lot of riffraff then you're saying. Students that like to do this kind of stuff that are into drugs and dope and whatever, you're saying they're probably leaning away from the Kentucky Welding Institute altogether. Absolutely. Uh, I hope they're leaning away because they're not, they're gonna get busted. And those aren't the guys you wanna roll out with, Bobby. Right. You don't wanna go to a job with somebody that's gonna give you a bad name because they got busted for something. Guilty by association, not what I'm looking for. Exactly, exactly. So if you're willing to, uh, or willing to, to do what we're talking about here, 
not partake or, or at least do drink responsibly, etc., uh, then the Kentucky Wedding Institute is probably for you. Uh, and, and again, if you're worried about getting into a school with, where a big crowd of riffraff, you remember how high school was in your welding classes? Probably half the guys weren't really into it, right? Right. You don't want to go to a college like that, do you? So uh, maybe the Kentucky Wedding Institute is for, for you if you're serious about the welding trade. Absolutely.